what is going on everyone so i'm sure you've seen from the title uh yes we have uh, some rope and steers and i know this is gonna be kind of a basic video but i just gotta show you i gotta show you i'm so proud of but for those of you that's been following the roping pin, we got the finishing touches on real quick. I just want to show you a couple things that I know I didn't get to show you in the last video. Uh, just some of our gates and then a couple things that I think is pretty cool. Maybe if you're looking to build a pin that we uh, come up with, I think I'm really like. Let's check it out. So yeah, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you enjoy these types of videos. We're going to be doing some roping real soon. Uh, we got some rain coming, so I don't know exactly how soon plus a lot of the steers are not exactly ready to rope but i'm gonna get all into that but here's some of the gates i know i showed y'all the gates that were built just laying on the ground but here is them put up and we got several different latches and stuff so that's what i kind of want to show you but this is you know just your typical chain deal or whatever now come over here and check this out so that gate there is about a 10 foot i believe and this gate right here is a really heavy gate we had to put a wheel on it but it'll swing around y'all know the deal it'll swing around one thing i think i mentioned in when i was talking about rope pin but see how this is a little bit wider so like you can you can uh break your horse talking about the box what i'm talking about it's not right in line with the box there man i'm so glad we did that i would highly recommend that but yeah i know another video i didn't we didn't have the boxes installed but now they are we went a little bit further back on your head side. But here's the cool thing I wanted to show you. One of them, there's a couple different things, where are these no backs right here. We actually got this off another guy's pen that, uh, that we, well, we got a lot of the stuff that we done here from that pen. But these no backs, you know, they're not really that heavy, but they're, they're just right, but then also, they just hook with this chain right here and so you can actually pick up one hand but you can bring them up you know as high as you need to bring them up whatever you need to do and i know i didn't mention this in the previous uh video of the pen we didn't we went a little lower right here you know because talking about like wrapping your steers and stuff uh this is a lot easier to get over in here especially like these steers that we just bought a lot of them are pretty small so they're gonna be small for a little while so really be able to get down in there and wrap wrap them up but right here check this out we had to put that up there because we got three different gates off this one five inch pipe and it was just it was giving her all she wanted but uh dad i gotta give dad credit on this he actually come up with this idea but this is on all the areas where you're gonna be where you could potentially be coming down with horses and stuff and so you just reach right here pull up and so you've got you got the one horseshoe right here for like if you're standing like i just did but then you have another one right here if you're on your horse you can grab got a pretty big area down there so it's easy and then another thing the welding guys actually come up with this but pull that out and you pull it up and you can hook it over that i just thought that was really cool same thing on this gate and uh, just any of the gates like that you would be coming through with your horses so on all the areas down there we got all the boys out here Cullen, where are we going? Um, to the pen. We're already in the roping pen. We're we gonna go check out the new herd. Yeah. Go check it out. We got our got our feeders right there. They've been doing any, any eating up here yet? Oh really? What is this right here, y'all? Right here, y'all. Um, um, what is 
like chocolate. But what is it? We'll, we'll just call it chocolate. Yeah, it's called it. <laughs> I call it chocolate. I call it chocolate. All right, yeah, y'all definitely got to know what this is. Yes, hey. Yes, sir, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go see where they're at. So here they are. We got a total of 15. The ones on the other side of the fence are not ours. Eight steers, eight heifers. 13 of them are uh, full-blooded Corriente. That one right there, I mean, heck, you know, I'll put a wrap on him. Uh, and then we've got um, three of them are going to be Longhorn mix. But... Uh, as you can tell, they're not quite ready to rope. Let's see if we can take a look at these. This is the neighbor's cows on the other side of the fence. So you can tell like that middle steer right there. I mean, he's not far out. Some of them though, still like about a month, but. Yeah, I'm gonna say in about a month, uh, pretty well, probably about 70% of them are gonna be ready to rope. Are y'all giving them names? What? What? Daisy Duck? What about ours? That's the neighbors over there. These are ours. Get, give that black and white one a name. Oreo? That's a real good idea. We'll call him Oreo. And he's a, and he, that big bull that he's so goofy. <laughs> I, I mean, hook. Oh, hook? Which one? Um, that bull. Oh, the big bull. That's he, what I'm talking about. He's not green, though. Steers, want to get my favorite rope kid? Y'all seen this? So that's going to be a wrap on today's video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That way you'll know when I'll be dropping more content. And if you will, go ahead and smash that like button for us. That'll help this video out tremendously if you take the time to do that. Until next time, y'all stay safe. God bless. We're out. See ya.